Everton. I work for JetBrains. Hope you hear me. Do you hear me? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll tell you about the Elm language, which is something like new, uh, approximately like a few years ago it appeared. Uh, and it could change the web drastically uh, because probably we are all searching for some re replacements for JavaScript. Uh, so it could be the one. So some history for first. At first was embassy like model view controller. Uh, it was probably the, the only way to to render the stuff, to organize your things. There were variants with even passes, uh, different variations of that, uh, but it worked not not very well. Then just a huge jump in the future. <laughs> But at some point, the functional reactive programming was very popular. Um, it actually rethought uh, the way uh, you may work with everything. Uh, events were changed to streams. Uh, and the key point here is that uh, the subject of a stream was immutable like everyone was saying, uh, consider your data immutable, the thing that flows from through the stream should not be changed and then everything works well and awesome. Uh, you just control the sequences of events. Uh, but uh, this way wasn't helping to uh, keep your uh, like to have some even pass because all the sub subscriptions were in the different places uh, and you had no no place to see the list of the the actions happening in your applications uh, I had a talk with a friend of mine uh, someday but uh, and I liked his his way of thinking, and he said, "Like all this reactive programming hype, made it clear how useful it is to be able to create your user interface, like by calling a function and passing a state to it. And like since everything is immutable, it's just uh, the very cool concept. Like in Lisp, for example, everything is a list, and here." Uh, every component is just a fu function of state. Uh, regarding the Elm languages, uh, it was the first versions were based, inspired by Brett Victor talks and everything. Uh, you, I hope you know Brett Victor. Uh, and it started like to make programming graphics easy. I will quit the presentation at some point. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> um, sorry, I can go. Oh yeah. This was one of the first versions of L. Uh, and it gave you the ability to control the Mario. A little bit to the left. To the right. Yeah. To the right. So, Thank you. so you. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, 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 no. Everything fine. I broke into it. It's fine. <laughs> Is it okay now? Yeah, yeah, okay. So, no code for the moment, just the Mario. Uh, yes. He's jumping. And actually, all the, all the actions are recording. I will do this stuff so you'll see the number of actions 
of basically what happens the x and y coordinates are changing and the directions are changing white moves <laughs> uh, so okay for the presentation it just you can roll back the time the main point here is just everything you can change everything backwards now with react you are probably common to this because having one like actions list uh, and with keeping your state immutable uh, you may roll back any action and just go backwards uh, so back to the presentation um, at some point of course uh, user required HTML uh, so the model was a bit changed uh, and now we, this ar architecture is pretty similar to MVC probably but with some uh, some key points which are very important uh, since the model is immutable everything is immutable actually uh, you may uh, do awesome stuff <laughs> um, I wanted to cover this syntax mm -hmm. so to give you examples of how it, how how easy is the syntax is um, but first I probably will show you uh, the typical application the simple one I hope it's visible Yeah, this way so it has some model it is a record with the field a which has type int and you can initialize it with any number actually and we have one function which converts <coughs> the model to string um, we have the type message this is the key thing it's like event in or action in Redux or uh, React. Uh, so it commands uh, to change your model in some way. And this function update is uh, one of the two required functions. View and update. Um, view just takes the model and renders it to the to some HTML code and the main function which actually just renders passes messages to the update mm -hmm. function and renders it to the view so it just returns HTML uh, and I will run it um, sorry missed my browser I will run it here. There is a website like Elia uh, where you may call Elm language and test how everything works. So, and the HTML file is just that simple. You just call the uh, Elm uh, your module name and full screen. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, I can't hide this panel. Um, so this is the HTML code, which just takes the compile compiled uh, script and run its run runs it in the full screen. Uh, this is the same code I showed you before. So and uh, if you change it. For example, it just works this way. Sorry? Yeah. Because um, I know nothing about Telm. Is it independent language or it, and it has some framework for web or it's like JavaScript? In, it, in its nature, it can work in a web? 
Uh, currently, it compiles to JavaScript, so you just include the, the script tag in your HTML page yeah. and call it like that. Uh, and there are hopes to, to make it compilable to WebAssembly, so there will be no JavaScript, no like interception between things. And there is another awesome thing, which is called Elm Reactor. Uh, Uh, you just run it uh, for your project, and you give, and you get the URL where you may see all your own files. And for example, this application, sorry, it's very small. <laughs> uh, so you see the result. So to cover the syntax. Uh, I want it probably because the, the lack of time, I won't give examples, um, maybe something later. So, to define a module, you just say its name and you say which functions it, it, it exposes. I'm going from the top to the bottom, uh, so it probably will be easy, easier to understand how modules actually work. Uh, to import something, you just type import module. Uh, you may have aliases, but that's not probably important. And the module itself is very simple. You just have a list of definitions uh, and the main function, which is called uh, straight away when you start the application. Uh, so it's basically just a little definitions of the functions and some imports. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> also the types. <coughs> um, you may define your type by saying the name and describing like what it looks like, or you may have, uh, um, you may specify a name to some, some other type if you want it to rename it, for example. Uh, or if you define a record, which is like structure or object in JavaScript, uh, you basically not defining the type, but you define the alias for some, for some structure for the um, combination of fields. Um, the functions and variables definitions are the same. Uh, you just say the name and say the type of it, uh, and with the equal sign you tell the uh, definition. If you define some function, uh, the type string is a bit different. You just say which type is converted to which type uh, with within this arrow symbol, like it's a ligature. Uh, which is replaced in your code. Uh, and then you define actually the function uh, by specifying the names of the arguments. And the arguments are these, uh, these types like from the first string. Uh, probably it's better to give some example uh, from this application, like here. Uh, the view function uh, takes model and returns HTML. Uh, it just passes the model to the string define function and shows uh, the div tag, sorry, uh, with the text of the model containing the, uh, the model itself. Um, and for example, this function takes two arguments, the message, uh, like comment or action, uh, and converts one model to another model. Since everything is immutable, 
in the return you you get the new model with the modified value. Uh, I've made the message unsolved to reset the value to the zero value uh, and the solve to change it. So when you call this for example, you change the field of a structure and you get the new model. <laughs>